you are looking at this as a sequence over here, a n you need to remove it out. How do we eat with the a n? a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d into d, isn't it? So let me substitute the values here. a n is equal to 2. a value came out to be 7 plus n value is 8 minus 1. d value is 3. So this is 7 plus 7 into 3. So this is 7 plus 21. So the answer is how much? 28. An is equal to how much? 28, right? So the answer over here is 28, right? Good. So let us look at uh, let us look at the next one. You need to remove that value of d. So an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. D value, a value is taken as 0. An is 0. A value is minus 18 plus n is given as n minus 1 you need to remove the value of d right so i'm switching this one to the other side so that uh, becomes plus 18 is equals to 9 times of d i'm switching this one 18 by 9 is equals to d if we divide this d is equal to how much 2 is your answer so i can write here directly 2 right so let's look at the next table over here so here this is your a value the first column was your a value so let us remove the value of a, that is the third bit, a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d, right, a n is given over here as minus 5 is equal to a you need to remove plus n is given as 18 minus 1, d value is given as how much, minus 3, right, so let us substitute everything over here, uh, minus 5, I am shifting this term the other side, that is, wait, let us solve it over here first, this is 17, 17 into minus 3 minus 5 is equal to a plus if you're doing this 2 into this becomes here as negative 21 is over there 2 over there so 51 now i'm shifting this one to the other side so that this gets out to be a is equal to what minus 5 plus 51 so i'll get a is equal to at last we're doing this to the pattern you'll get a is equal to much 46 is your required answer so here the answer should be how much 46 so let us look at the next one you need to remove the value over here is the n right so yeah so let us use the same formula a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d right so here a n is given as how much 3.6 a n is given as 3.6 is equal to a value is taken as minus 18.9 plus here n minus 1 into 2.5 now i'm setting this one to the other side 3.6 plus 18.9 plus n minus 1 this is equals to not plus n minus 1 into 2.5. All right. So adding up these two gives me how much? Adding up these two gives me 21.6, 21.4. Sorry, 4 equivalent to equal we do we, did we do something wrong over there? It is what? Uh, this is 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. So this is 5. So at 15, 1, 10, 22. 22, right? 22. Now I'm taking this one to the other side. So this is 22.5, 22.5, 22.5 minus 22.5. So this is 25. This is equal to 2.5 times of n. Now I'm taking this one to the other side. So what I'll get is n is equal to 25 by 2.5. That is, if you divide the answer, how much? 10. So n is equal to here, comes out to be n as your required answer. So here, if you need to remove a n is equal to a value is given at 3.5. Plus n value is given a 105, right? N value is given a 105, 105 minus 1, and d is 0, so eventually this becomes 0, so n is of the 3.5. Okay. Let's look at the second bit, first one, the 30th term of the given series in the AP. So he is asking us to remove a 30 of d, right? So from this equation here, I am getting this as your a value. So I'm just substituting here a 30 is equal to how much 10, a value is 10 plus 29, let us remove the value of d. Difference is a2 minus a1 directly, so d is equal to how much 7 minus 10, so d comes out to be minus 3, now I'm substituting over here that is minus 3. Okay, so now doing this 2 into here, so what we'll get is a 30 is equal to 10. So solving those two over there, I'll get uh, minus 87. So I'm solving these two, a 30 is equal to how much minus 77 is your required answer of the series, right? So let's look at the second bit. He's asking us to remove the 11th term. So a 11 can be written as a plus 11 minus 1 is 
n times of d so a11 is equal to a value is how much minus 3 plus 10 times of let me remove the value of d over here d is equal to a2 minus of a1 right so holding these two over here what is the resultant minus 1 by 2 plus 3 so solving these two over here we will get minus 1 plus 6 by 2 so d is equal to what 5 by 2 as your answer so substituting the d value here 5 by 2 2 removes out 5 times doing these two into a11 is equal to minus 3 plus 25 so a11 is equivalent to how much 22 is your required answer. Hope is clear. Let's go to the next one. Find the respective terms of the following AP. Okay, let us remove this two here. Uh, right, uh, this one over here. A is equivalent to your two. Given from this equation, I can write A plus two times of B is equal to 26. I'm substituting A value here. So two plus two times of B is equal to 26 i'm shifting this one to the other side so 2d is equal to 26 minus 2 so solving this comes out to be written as a plus times of d so a2 is equal to a value came out to be much 2 this is your 2 so a2 is equal to much only 14 is your required answer so similarly let us look at the next one a2 how to write a2 a2 can be written as a plus d is equal to 13 right now how to write a4 a4 can be written as a plus 3 times of d is equal to how much? 3. Now, that is subtracting this equation. Subtracting this equation, I will get in equation 1. Then we will get a plus d is equal to 13. That is a minus 5 is equal to 13. I am shifting this one to the other side. a equals to 13 plus 5. So, solving this, a is equal to 18 is your required answer. Now, he is asking us to remove a1. a1 is equal to 18 as we have already observed. a4 is equal to 2. Uh, he is asking it right. Yeah, a3 is equal to a plus 2 times of d. So that would be a value is 18 plus 2 times of d is how much? Minus 5. Now solving this to 18 minus n, a3 is equal to how much? 8. So this is clear. This would be your required answer of this. D is equal to 9 or 1 by 4 and A value is given as how much work. Alright. So now all I'll be doing is I'm doing subtraction. A J is removed. 3 D is equal to 9 half minus 5. Isn't that so? Let us solve for the value of D now. When I'm solving for the value of D, the value of D needs to be reduced out. So I'm doing these two subtraction here, then I'll get. 3d is equal to 4 of 1 by 2. Right? 4 of 1 by 2. Then this comes out to be 3d is equal to 9 by 2. I'm just solving the fraction is your 9 by 2. Okay, good. So when I'm solving this, d is equal to 9 by 3 into 2. When I'm shifting this 3 to the other side, right? So this comes out 3 times. So at last we have the answer of d is equal to how much? 3 by 2. As your required answer, hope this is clear up to here, right? Hope this is clear, right? So we have the value of A, we have the value of D. So let us look at A2. A2 is nothing but your A plus times of D. A value is 5 plus 3 by 2. Solving for this comes out to be 10 plus 3 by 2. This comes out to be A2 is equal to 13 by 2, which is your required answer. So similarly, let me take out A3. A3 is equal to A plus 2 times of D. So A value is how much? 5 plus 2 times of D is 3 by 2. This is your 2 here. 2 and 2 is removed out. So we are left out with 8. This is your A3. So this is also clear, right? So let's look at the next one over here. A1 is your A value. A6 is given over here. A plus 5 times of D is equal to 6 is your A6. And A is equal to 1 minus 4 given over there, right? Now subtracting this 2 is removed out directly. And we are left out with the only, we are left out with only what D. That is, I can take it over here D. Right times of D is equal to subtracting of this to comes out to be addition. So the value of D becomes as to be how much? N by 2, that is the value of D is only 5. 
So this is clear, right? So let us remove the other values required. Look at A2. Uh, we'll take it over here. A2. A value A2 is minus. Or uh, we did something wrong. Here it is not, but it is into pi. Right, look at this one shifting here, you have the pi. So this comes out to be two. If it is two there, here also it becomes two. If it is two over here, here we are having only minus two as you require as of a three, right? A two, right? So a three is equal to a plus two times of d. So similarly, a value I'm substituting here as minus four plus two into d value came out to be how much two, right? So this comes out to be zero. So a three came out to be zero. So this is clear. So let us look at your four. A four is equal to a plus three times of d, and a value came out to be minus four plus three into what? Your two. I think it's two, yeah. So this is minus four plus six. So the answer is how much? A four equals to two is your required answer. So let's so let's do the last one. A five. A plus four times of D, that is A value came out to be minus four plus four into two is your eight. So at last we are left out with the minus four plus eight. So the resultant is what? A five equals two. So the resultant here is A five plus two. Four. Is it? Isn't it? Is it equals to thirty-eight? And A six can be written as A plus five times of D. Is the cost is given as to be minus 22, right? So let's solve this one over here. I'm subtracting a is similar to subtracting minus 4 tenths of d is equal to I'm subtracting. So this becomes a relation. This comes out to be 10, so this is a 60. Hope this is clear, right? So the, and I'm shifting this one to the other side. This divides out 15 times, right? So we have minus 15 is equal to minus d is equal to 15. So I can write d is equal to what minus 15 at last. So this is clear, right? So I'm substituting this in equation number one. Substituting d in equation number one to get the value of a, then I will get a minus 15 is equal to 38. I'm shifting this one to the other side. A is equal to 38 minus 15. Then the value of a comes out to be. So uh, this becomes addition here, right? Yes, addition. So this comes out to be a is equal to 53. Now we remove the a1. a1 is equal to 53. Is the value of a. So a3 is a plus a3 is equivalent to a plus two times of d. So a3 is equal to a53 plus two into d that is minus 15. If you're solving this one now, a3 is equal to 53 minus 30, right? So at last I can write here a3, a3 comes out to be how much? 23 if you're solving this one, right? So the next value, what do you need to remove? A4, A4 can be removed at a plus 3 times of the a value is 53 plus 3 into minus 15. If you're doing this two into minus uh, 53 minus 45 is equal to 8, right? So a4 is equal more to be as 8. Now let us look at a5, a5. A5 value is a plus 4 times of d, a value came out to be 53 plus 4 times of minus 15. So if we do this, we will have 16. So 53 minus of 16 gives us uh, the result in this minus 7. This is a5. So this is clear. These are the required values which we removed. Now he is asking which term of the AP is you have this one over here. So let me solve this. The an is equals to a plus m minus 1 into d. This is your suffix n. Okay, suffix n. A yeah, like this. Okay. So I am having taking a value of a n has to be 78, a value 3 plus n minus 1. n minus 1 we need to remove. Let me remove that difference here. a2 is 8 minus 3. d is equal to how much? I as your answer, right? So I'm substituting the value of d here. Okay. Now Wait, let us do this one simply. Also, note I'm flipping this one over here. So, I'll get 78 minus 3 is equal to n minus 1 into 5. So, solving this one, I'll get 75, right? 75 is equal to, and I'm shifting the other number to the other side. So, you have something like this. So, when I'm dividing this one of 500 and two plus four is composed with 5. So, 15 is equal to n minus 1. I'm shifting this minus 1 to the other side. n is equal to 15 plus 1. So, at last, n is equal to 16. So, for the 16th term of the series, 
for the 16th term is 17. Hope this is clear, right? I think the next one over here is the first one. Find the number of terms in the given series that is unique to the value of EN. Okay. So let's see this one here. EA again is equal to EA plus A plus N minus 1 into D. Okay, so we require the value of D. So let me remove the value of D. 13 A2 minus A1. D is equivalent to how much? D has to be answer as 5. D is your requirement answer. Is it 5 or no? No, this is like 5. So this is 6. So D and this is 6. So let me substitute in this one over here. That is. A not A is equal to 205 is equal to A value 7 plus N minus 1 into D is 6, right? So when I'm shifting this one to the other side, you'll be getting subtraction 205 minus 7 is equal to 2 N minus 1 into 6. So subtracting these two gives me approximately what? Uh, subtracting of these two gives me uh, 205 minus 6 comes out 198, right? 198, mm. Is equal to n minus one. No. Now divided this three is that again three is that. So I have left with thirty three is equal to n minus one. Now taking this one to the other side, thirty three plus one is equal to n. So at last I have left with n is equal to thirty four. So for thirty fourth term of the series, so for the thirty fourth term of the series is two not. Um, no, it is not equal to series. There are thirty four terms. Okay, the number of terms is equal to n is equal to almost 34. So this is clear. Good. So let's look at the next one. Here. <clears throat> 2, 1 by 2. So if you solve this, the value of d is something like this, right? So let us remove the sequences now. Minus 47 is equal to a plus n minus 1, n minus 1 into d value is what? Minus 5 by 2. Hope this is clear, right? So let us solve this. First of all, let me remove this LCM part over here first. Minus 47 is equal to 18 into 2, 18 into 2 plus n minus 1 into minus 5 by 2. Right? The by 2, I'm doing this LCM over here so that this becomes out to be minus 94 is equal to 36 minus 5 times of n minus plus 5. As you can know this, so it's good over here, good, right? So I'm putting this one over there minus 94 minus 36. Sir. Minus 36 is equal to 2 and minus 5m plus 5. I'm shifting this 5 also to the other side. So this can be written as minus 24 minus 36 minus 5 is equal to 5 times of n. If you're solving in the LHS over here, the resultant of this one comes out to be 135 by 5. Okay, so 135 by 5 that is uh, the negative negative is equal to 2 n. So n in negative negative is the mode of. So we are left out with n is equal to 27 terms in the given APC right so let's look at the sixth one over here he said term of this one you need to say that if this is a term of in the given series or not so first of all let me remove the value of d d is a2 minus a1 right so d is equal to the what minus two, right so you need to say that if you have this term or not this is a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d right so let me shift this one to the other side. We are left out with minus 150, minus 11 is equal to n minus 1 into what? Minus 3. Right? So when I'm solving this one to the other end of the side, I have left over. I have left over what? Uh, 1, 6, 1. Right? Is equal to, I'm doing that minus 3 inside, minus 3 in. Plus 3. I'm shifting this 3 to the other side. So we are left with minus 1, 6, 1 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 3 times of n right so this is minus 164 is equal to minus 3 n right so negative negative is removed of 164 divided by 3 is equal to n so we are having the answer 52 2 by 3 is equal to n since n is not an integer n is not an integer therefore minus 150 is not a term is not a term in series in your AP series. Perfect, good. So let's look in the seventh one over here. Find the 31st term of an AP. Okay, you need to remove a 31 is equal to how much? Okay, so for this, you need to remove something. 
a 31 is equal to a plus 30 times of d right whose eleventh term is so this is your eleventh term right a 11 which can be written as a plus 10 times of d is equal to 38 and whose sixteenth term is that is a 16 is given over here which can be written as a plus 15 times of d is equal to how much 73 so I'm doing this subtraction thing. This is a zero now. This uh, of course minus 5d is equal to 2. Now if you're subtracting this one also over here, right? You have left with minus 35. Negative negative is removed out. So we are left with the d is equal to 35 by 5. So at last, what is left out? D is equal to 7 is left out. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm naming this one in as one. Therefore, d in one. To get the value of a, a plus 10 into 7 is equal to 38. Doing this to over here, this is your 70 is equal to 38. I'm flipping this one to the other side. So we are left out by 38 minus 70. So the value of a came out to be minus 32 at last, right? So you required a 31 over here. Over here, I'm substituting that minus 32 plus 30 times of 7. Doing these two here, minus 62 plus 210. So solving these two again over at last, this that comes out to be what it is 178, which is your A of 31. Hope it's clear, right? So let us look at the eighth sum over here. Is the third and ninth term of an AP series are okay? This term of this AP is zero. Is asking us to remove the value, which is zero. Okay. So the first thing is first, let me remove the value of D. A3 can be written as A plus 2 times of D, that is 4. And A9 is written as A plus 8 times of D, that is how much? Minus 8. So subtracting these two over here, right? Two, right? So at last, I have to D is equal to 4 by minus 6. So at last, D is equal to what? Minus 2 as your answer. I am taking this as to be 1. Now substituting the in equation number 1. We get the value of a that is a plus 2 times of minus 2 is equal to what 4. Then a plus minus 4, right? Is equal to what 4. I am flipping this one to the other side. A is equal to what 4 plus 4. So at last a is came out to be as 8, right? Now he is asking us to know if we are having 0 in this equation or not, right? So I am taking this as to be your a m, right? So let me add the formula here. A n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. Now a n is taken as zero. A value is a plus a. Uh, n is again zero, so we are left out with only minus one into d. D came out to what minus two. Right? Hope it is clear. Uh, yeah, you are removing the value of the Good. Now I'm checking this one here. Minus eight is equal to minus two times of n plus two. I'm checking this two to the other side. Minus eight minus two is equal to minus two times of n. So the resultant of this one is minus 10 is equal to minus 2 times of n. Negative negative is removed out. So at last n is equal to what? n by 2. So I can say that n is equal to 5. So at last I can say this here that the term of um, a p is what? 0. Okay, so this is clear here. Right? So let us look at the next one. 9 to 1. Okay, let's see what does this ninth sum say as a book. So let's see what does this nice sum say as a book. It is the term exceeds the AP. Exceeds is nth term by 7. Okay. Means he is speaking about the 17th term which is exceeding the 10th term by 7. Okay. So this is your required part. Now fitting this one to the other side. Then we are having a 17 minus 8 10 equal to what 7, right? So how do I write this one here? Is a 17? Let us do this subtraction. A plus 16 times of d. Right, and similarly, a 10, right? A 10 is converted as a plus what I call it this part, right? And that is equivalent to 7, means here 16d minus 9 times of it. This is equal to 7. This is what he says about this, right? So this equals to 7. So let us solve this too. If I'm solving this, this comes out to be 7d is equivalent to 7. So 7, 7 cancels out directly. So d is equal to what? 1. So he is asking us to do move the comment a plus d is equal to over 1, which is your required answer. Hope this is clear, right? So let's look at the next one over here. 
let two APs have same common differences. Okay, the difference between the hundredth term is hundred. Okay, now he says that the difference between the hundredth term is hundred. Okay, right. What is the difference between the thousandth term? Okay, let two APs. Let first AP let first AP be your A, A plus D, A plus two D, and so on. Okay, now let this second AP. B over B, B plus D, B plus 2D, and so on. Okay. Now, the nth term of these two sequences, you need to say that. So, that is the nth term of the first 100th series minus the 100th of the second series is equal to 100 is itself, right? I can rewrite this one as A plus 99 times of D is equal to uh, minus, minus. B plus 99 times of D is equal to 200, right? So I'm taking out the negative symbol. So let us see this A minus 99D minus B minus 99D is equal to 200, right? So here this 99D and 99D is removed out as we are having a addition, right? Yeah. So we are left out with A minus B equals to what? 100, right? So A minus B is equal to what? Your 100, right? So let's look at the thousandth term difference now. 8,000 term difference with this second term difference is equal to 1,000, right? So I'm writing this one over here. A plus what can be written as triple 9D minus B. Minus B minus of triple nine D only will be getting is equal to what hundred? It goes to thousand. This and this is removed out. So I left with A minus B is equal to what only thousand. Okay. Hence, whatever the differences you are having, the differences of this one is what hundred? Uh, wait. Uh, this is not thousand. This should be hundred. So eventually, this also should be hundred. So one and what two? So even if it is hundred. Or thousand term. terms, the difference is same. Right? The number out of which are divisible by only seven are one not five, one one two, one one nine, and so on up to the last number is nine nine four. Hope it is clear, right? So this is your required series. So he is asking us how many three digit numbers are there in this right so i'll be taking a n is equal to a plus n minus one into t right a n is nine nine four and a value is one not five plus n you need to remove now let us remove the value of d d is what one one two minus one zero five isn't it one one two minus one zero five so if i do this one now the resultant of d comes out over seven right so i'm substituting the value of D over here 7. Okay, now shifting this one to the other side so that that becomes more minus is equals to n minus 1 into 7. Right, so the, and I solve this one out, this comes out to be 889 by and taking this is 7 to the other side. So let me write it over here. 889 by 7 is equals to n minus 1, right? So when I'm dividing this with 7s, I'll get 1, 2, and what? 7, yeah. So 127 minus 1 is shifted here. This is your answer. So this is 128 is equals to n. This is your required answer. So 128 numbers, and then 28 numbers are divisible by. Uh, divisible by seven. So this is clear, right? Okay. So let us look at the next one. Similarly, he says over here, how many multiples of four lie between this number? So four ones are four, right? Try to record double digits, right? So four threes are you should be taking here. Twelve, sixteen, twenty, and so forth, so forth, so forth. The last term is two hundred forty-eight. Okay. So he is asking the nth term here. A n is equal to a plus n minus one n into n minus one into d. Come here. That is uh, a n comes out to be two forty-eight. Is equals to a value is only two n plus n minus one. Right? N minus one d value is four. Right? Now I'm taking this one to the other side. When I'm taking that one to the other side, you will get what addition? If you are adding this two out, 
if you're adding this row 260 your answer of this one is equals to this is equal to this right is equal to this is equal to this and n minus one into four right so i'm dividing this one by four times so this is your n minus one right so this comes out to be is exact and uh, is it divisible first of all you need to see that so let's divide it out so when i'm dividing this this comes out to be wait uh, over here when you shift this this becomes a subtraction so when i'm subtracting that one so I'm left with two, three, six by four. This is question minus one. Now when I'm dividing this one out, when I'm dividing this one out, that resultant comes out to be fifteen nine. Now when I'm taking this one, this comes out to be plus one. So at last I can say that n is equal to sixty. So you are having sixty different numbers which are divisible of four. So let's look at the thirteenth one. For the what values of the n are in the terms of two APs are equal to the answers, right? So that Value of D here is 65 minus 63. That is D is equal to how much? Here I have left with only 2. The value of D here is, if you are looking at that one, I am getting only 6. So this is clear, right? Good. So this is the differences you need to remember. Here, no, here it is 7, 7. Sorry, here it is 7. Okay, now he says the nth term of n value of nth terms is asking here, right? So let us look at the nth term over here. The nth term of these two sequences can be written as, if you are looking at this nth term, 6 is 3 plus nth term, you need to remove that n minus 1 into d is equal to nth term of the other series, that is 3 plus n minus 1 into 7. Isn't it? Hope is clear, right? So let us take all the numbers to the other side and then solve it. 63 plus 2n minus 2, I am doing this one into first, uh, 3 plus part over here, this comes out, 50, 60 goes out there, 60. So, so this comes out to be 65 at last, okay? So dividing this one with n is equal to 65 by 5 times is equal to n to 2. 13, therefore you have n the term is equal to 13 the term, therefore the 13 the term, 13 the term of AP is not equal, of 2 AP is not equal. So this is again without any doubt, all right? Okay, let me see how we do that. Whose third term is this and seventh term exceeds the fifth term by 12. Hope this is clear, right? So let me write the first equation which is required here. A plus 3 times of B is equal to how much? 16, which is given. Let me name it as equation number 1, okay? So let me solve the next one over here. Seventh term, A seventh term exceeds the 15th term. Okay, fifth term by how much only 12. I'm shifting this one to the other side. Then I will be getting here this a7 or else let me directly equate it. A plus x times of d is equal to a plus 4 times of d plus 12, isn't it? So a a is removed out. I'm shifting this number to the other side. This d to the other side. So 6d is equal uh, 6d minus 4d is equal to how much? 12. So if you look at these two, 2d is equal to how much? 12. So when I'm shifting this one over there, d is equal to 12 by 2, at last the answer of d came out to be how much? Only 6. Right? So the value of d is how much? 6. Right? Now substituting d in this equation, a plus 3 times of d is your 6, that is your 16. That is a plus 18 is equal to 16. Now I'm shifting this one to the other side, a is equal to 16 minus 18. So at last a is equal to what? Minus 2. So oh, this is clear, so we have the value of A, right? Now he is asking us to determine the AP series. AP series is something by A plus, sorry, A, so I'll look at it properly, A, A plus D, A plus 2D, and so on and so forth, right? So we are substituting the value of A, this is minus 2, minus 2 plus 6, minus 2 plus 2 times of D is your 6, and so forth and so on, right? So here it is minus 2, this comes out 4, this comes out minus 2 plus 2, it, comma and so forth and so forth, right? So at last this equation comes out minus 2, 4, this comes out what, 10 and so forth. So this is your required equation, hope it's clear to you, right? Wait here, it is not, uh, this is third term, right? So third term means this should get 2 times of D. 2 times times of d is your 12. So if it is your 12, if it is your 12, I'm getting this one over there, that comes out to be 12. So here it should be a 4. So a value is 4. If a value is 4, then this is wrong. We need to do it again. a comma a plus d comma a plus 2d 
and so forth. Okay, a value came out to be how much? A value came out to be four. Four plus b value came out to be six. Four plus two into your six and so forth. Right. So here we'll have four. So in the next one, he has to find the 20th term from the end of the AP series. He is asking us to remove the 20th term from the end of the series. Right? So this is your value of A. So let me remove the value of D here only. D is equal to A2 minus A. So D came out to be how much? Only 5 as the value of answers B. Okay. I'm taking this as your AN term. So AN is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Right. So AN is how much? 253 is equal to 3 plus n minus 1 into d is how much 5. I'm flipping this number to the other side. 253 minus 3 is equal to n minus 1 into 5. Okay. So let's see if we could do this one or not. So this is 250. Okay. So I'm dividing this one as 5 is equal to n minus 1. So when I divide this, I'll get 50 is equal to n minus 1. I'm flipping this number to the other side. So what only the 51 is equal to n, right? So n is equal to 51. Therefore, the 20th term, 20th term from the end, from the end is what would be the 20th term from the end? And what you need to require that is your 32nd term, right? So 51 minus 20 gives us the 32nd term. Okay. So let us look at the 32nd term. A 32 can be written as 3, that is A value plus 32 minus 1 into 5, right? So A 32 is equal to 3 plus 31 into 5. We'll get it here. Doing this to into A 32 is equal to 3 plus 5, 5 and come out to 10. So, 832 is equal to 158, which is your required sequence and the answer, right? So, let us look at the next one over here. What is this here? This is the sum of a 14th and 8th term of a t is 24. So, let me directly write it over here. a plus 3 times of d plus, that's your 4th term, a plus 7 times of d is equal to 24. Hope this is clear. So, how this one comes out? 2 times of A plus 10 times of D is equal to 24. Right? Good. Hope this is clear. Now, dividing this entire equation by 2, the equation reduces or something like this. Hope this is clear. So, this is your first equation. Now, read the next one. The sum of 6th and the nth term. 6th term is A plus 5 times of D plus nth term is A plus 9 times of D is equal to 44. Right? So, 44. So, I am adding up all the terms, comes out to be here 13 times of D. This is not 13, right? This is 14. Wait, uh, let me go to, do it over there. 2 times of A plus 14 times of D is equal to what? 44. Now, dividing the equation by 2, I have left with A plus 7 times of D is equal to how much? 22. Hope this is also clear, right? Now, solving these two equations to get the value of A, he is asking us to remove the what first three terms of this one, right? So, 1 minus 2, I am doing directly. A plus 5 times of D is equal to 2. Well, A plus 7 times of D is equal to 22. Now, subtracting this one directly, this is the same minus 2 times of D uh, is equal to, uh, subtracting here is minus 10. So, D is equal to 2 over 5 at last, right? So, after this one here, he has in the first terms A, A plus D. A plus 2D is a required sequence, so and so forth. The A value came out to be how much? Where is the A value? So we need to substitute that. Substituting B value, look over the top, substituting B in equation number 1. So that I'll get A, A plus 5 into 5 is equal to 2. Well, the A plus 25 is equal to 2. Well, I'm flipping this one to the other side. Then A is equal to 25 minus 2. Well, so A is equal to what? Minus 13. So, A equal to minus 13. Now, I am substituting everything over here. Here, minus 13. Minus 13 plus 5. Minus 13 plus 2 into 5. And so forth. Okay. Here, we will get minus 13. Here, we will get we'll be getting minus 8. And here, we will be minus 8. And so forth. And so forth. This is your required equation. 1995. Here, this is a salary. Okay. You are having a salary. Right here. So, let me write this salary here. 
is how much? 25,000 for the first year, right? An increment of 200 in each year. Okay, in the next year, there is an increment of 200, so 5,200. In the next year, there is an increment of again 200, there is an increment of 400. So in the next year, 1998, there is increment again 200, and so forth and so forth. He is asking when it will reach 7,000. He is asking how many years, that is in which year here, he will be having this much amount of salary. Okay, so let us see how to do this. Uh, a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d. As you all know that, this is n minus 1 into d. D value is, as you all know that, there is a difference of these two minus of 5000 gives you the value of this. So the value of d came out to be how much? 200 at last. So substituting the value of d here as 200. Okay. I am switching this one to the other side. So this becomes what subtraction 7000 minus 5000 is equals to n minus 1 into 200. So this becomes how much? 2000 by 200. N minus 1, right? So double zero, double zero is removed out, and this cancels out how many times? N times. N plus 1 is equals to N, so N is equal to 11. So therefore, therefore his salary becomes 7000 after 11 years. Or else I get it at 11th year.